your cybersecurity engineer and welcome back to another monthly security video with 4MAC. And we have decided to stay as relatable as we can with our topics when we're discussing every single month. And the topic for today is something that I am pretty sure it has happened to every single person out there. And for example, let's take a specific example. Uh, it has never happened to you like when you're talking with a friend or with a family member about a specific product or service and then after you are done discussing it you log in into your social media accounts and you're just scrolling and whenever you are scrolling it just pops up a sponsored ad about the specific product that you have mentioned and this is the question that arises is my phone spying on me well the answer is rather simple yes it is but all of our digital systems are spying on us. So let's take a look at how they are doing that specifically and what we can do in order to prevent or limit it. But before we get started, let's explain a few things. Because we have seen in the past that uh, different ad systems are in a way, let's say, spying on us, but by searching different things online. For example, when we are going on Google and searching a specific product or service, and then these ad systems will take these keywords and then show you different sponsored ads on your social media accounts. And this makes sense because we have seen this happening different times and we have also explained it how it works. You can go and refer to different uh, videos or uh, articles that we have written about it before. And we can put the links in this video down below as well for reference. But the thing is, in this situation, uh, it's rather different because we are not going online and searching a specific product. We are not going on Google or in any other search browser and just typing a specific service or product. We are just talking with our friend, with our family, and our phone is off, not completely switched off, but just like turned in on off mode. And then uh, laying on the table, even sometimes face down, or it's just close by. And people tend to find this scary. I get it. It is scary because uh, it means that our phone is spying on us whenever we are discussing something with a person. But on a technical point of view, it is expectable, to be honest, because phones have microphones integrated into them. And the moment that they have microphones and we allow them to use the microphone, it means that they can hear everything that we are doing, even in different softwares or in different applications. Whenever an application pops up the window and it says, are you allowing this application or this software to use the microphone? And we click yes. And then it means in this time that the specific software or microphone has the permission in order to hear what goes around. And in a technical point of view, it means that they can also capture different keywords and then the ad systems would use these keywords in order to show you different sponsored messages on your social media accounts and not only. But here's the thing. This is not a matter if our phone is listening to us, but it's rather a matter if our phone is paying attention to what we are saying, because it is not enough in just giving permission into using the microphone. We just described it. Basically, it can listen to us. But the thing where it becomes like tricky, let's say, is if it's our phone paying attention to what we are saying, because our words then can be translated into specific sponsored ads. And this is uh, the question that arises. How is this translation been done from voices and uh, from words that we are speaking into being used as keywords and then later on these keywords to be used by different ad systems into generating different sponsored content for us. This is the part where cookies come in. You know, the ones that we always accept without reading them first. Yeah, these are the ones that are at fault, let's say. Because the cookies can do this transition from the voice that we are speaking with our friend, let's say, and the phone that is listening the whole time. The words that we are saying basically can be translated into trigger words, and then these trigger words can serve into different ad systems as a way of connecting or creating some different keywords about our preferences. And then these keywords, because the algorithm works very fast, these keywords then are translated into sponsored content and then later show on our social media feed. 
So it's quite simple. For example, let's take the version where we have uh, different voice assistants that we use on our phones. If we have voice assistants that are uh, we have allowed them or they have the full permission into working into our phones, then this triggering can be done quite easily because whatever we say, it can serve as a trigger word for the phone and then the phone connects it with their system and then it came, comes back with an answer for us that is connected with the same question that we asked the phone. So basically every single word that we are saying can be translated into a trigger word and then these trigger words serve later on as keywords for different ad systems that they generate different sponsor content for us. So it's rather simple, actually. And if we are talking from a technical point of view, what we are saying is our phone is dropping on us, then technically speaking, it is not because we have given the phones, the devices, the full permission into doing so. But if it's listening or not, then that's the question. Yes, it is listening. But the change is if it's listening or if it's paying attention to us. So what can we do in order to limit this kind of interaction? Because we don't want every single word that we are saying into being translated into a specific sponsor content. There are some things that we can do in order to limit this kind of interaction that is happening from us, from our conversation, into our phones, and later on into showing us different sponsored ads. My very first option would be to limit or to stop using the voice assistants. Because if you're using voice assistants into your phone, for example, like Siri, OK Google, and so on, then basically you are giving it full permission to your phone to use every single word that you are saying into a trigger word that can be later used into different uh, software ads that they can create with these trigger words, their own keywords, and then show you their specific ads. Another thing that I would suggest into doing would be to always watch out from the cookies because it's not about always accepting it all. You have to also take a look at what you are accepting it. And there are always two options. You can either accept it all or you can manage. And I would always choose to go with the manage part because in this way you can see what the website, what the software is actually collecting about you, what kind of information is collecting about you. And then you can just fix it, you can change it, you can just uh, switch off on another specific limit or a specific preference that you have. So to put limitations on it, and in this way, you can limit it as a whole uh, website into not collecting a lot of information about you in the first place. And another thing that I was suggesting to doing is whether you are installing a different uh, software or if you are a uh, software or app, I'm saying, or if you are going to a different website and it's asking you for permissions into using the microphone or the camera, always watch out because this is not only a concern regarding our phones if it's listening to us because this is also a security concern and if you are not sure of a specific ad if you are not doing a full analysis let's say or if it's safe or not and you are giving it a full permission into use in your gallery your microphone your camera then this is also a security concern but this is a question or let's say a topic for another day and uh, last but not least is the way that you can limit everything. And you can limit your ad tracking by just going onto your search browser on your account and then just going onto the setting of the setting and then privacy. And then you can just go on the ads and toggle and you can personalize the ads. You can limit the preferences. You can even delete the preferences. And then in this way, you can limit the whole let's say, ad system into collecting information about you because you limit in the first place the search browser. And if you limit that, then therefore you can limit the ad systems. And in this way, you can also limit the display of different sponsored ads. So this is the whole topic for today. I know it's quite interesting. It can be quite frightening. But this is the world that we live in. And this is why I always mention that we have to be careful about everything that we decide into accepting it first. Always take a look first. Always do a little bit of reading before accepting everything that's coming your way. So to conclude it, this was our topic for today. 
And uh, just to go a little bit over again with our question, if our phone is eavesdropping, then my answer would be no. Only if you are giving it permission to, but is our phone listening to us? Always yes, they are listening to us almost all the time. But don't be scared because we can fix it and we can limit things. So this was it for today. If you have any other topic that you would like for us to discuss in our next video, please feel free to share with us, to comment in this video down below, or just drop us a message and we'll be happy to comply. That's it for this time and see you next month. Bye.